all right guys matt here i hope you can hear me through all the road noise and the wind and everything but i wanted to do a quick video here and show you um my uh, concordia oaks that i'm germinating and some of the other seeds my dco's and maybe a few of my chestnuts if they've started sprouting um i've made up a few of my root pouches here these are the uh three gallon and i just put some um this is the um garden uh soil uh, made for raised beds um that i used and it's just something i picked up from um home depot and um got it today it's made for raised beds uh, it's made by um, 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 miracle grow couldn't think of the name right? but it seems to be pretty good soil and i think it's going to work fine for what i'm wanting to do made up a few here um so anyway uh, here's my here's my container i got from the dollar store and we're going to see what it looks like here's my uh medium that i use it's just sphagnum moss and right in here is my uh, concordias that uh, i grew or harvested last year i didn't get very many as you can see they've already sprouted and i did these uh, sunday it didn't take them very long they were ready to go so i think i got five in here so we'll see pull them back i've already planted one and there's two three four five right there so i've already planted one and they've all sprouted i think might need to wait on that one nope that one's already sprouted too so i can i'll plant all five of them five of them will go in those pots right there um Just right below the right below the surface and uh, as you can see the root radical is is pointing down here so what you do is you just take it and I mean it's not rocket science you just take it and uh, put it right in the middle of the pot here make your little impression and point it down point the root down okay because the root's going to go down and you're going to get a little shoot going up that's going to be your tree so you don't want to force it and break the tip of the root off but i like to always make a little indention and then lightly cover it okay and the reason you do that um, you don't want to cover it too much but you want to cover it just enough I like to uh, cover it just so it kind of covers the hides of the nut from the squirrels I like to maybe give them a little uh, challenge if they want to find it so there you have it guys that's how you that's how you how you how you plant uh, concordia oaks or how i do it i'm gonna finish planting all of these and then i have some dcos that i grew last year that i'm going to plant in these right here um and then i have a special raised container that i'm going to prepare and plant some of my uh, other trees that I have to start this year uh, 
some of my um, chestnuts and other trees. Um, I also have some um, little oak trees that I'm going to plant here with them whenever they get sprouted. But anyway, um, take care guys and uh, I'll be posting more videos um, on my uh, planning efforts this spring.